take for this welterweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the future! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov! Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, round one getting underway here. We'll see what Ian Machado Gary can do to preserve that O in his loss column. His frame is going to provide a lot of challenges for most of the 170-pound fighters. More often than not, he'll be the taller man, he'll be the longer man, not just in terms of arm reach, but leg reach as well, and an obvious size discrepancy in this matchup here tonight. Good stick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Three minutes now to go in this one. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Another straight left. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Big knee there. Under two minutes to go in a back-and-forth first round here. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself part of traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. Soccer. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. Thirty seconds now to go in the opening round. And there's that jab. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Ten seconds to go in round one. Ian Machado Gary's nose is bleeding now. Looks stop, to be stop, cut stop. perhaps there on the bridge. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Nice jab there to the body by Ian Machado Garrett. Oh, nice. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. 
Ian Machado Gary's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, nice jab to the head by Rachmanov. Really nice defense there. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, man. Rips the body there. Lands a nice leg kick. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Lands the lead right punch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Good night if that landed. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Gary. Another punch to the head. Machado Gary's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the rest. See if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Ready to fight. Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Machado Gary's head kick looked like that one was dropped. What a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Nice straight there by Rock Mama. Whiffs on that offer. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight.
done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Shadow carries in half guard now. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half you are carrying their weight whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you it is not comfortable so you need to be trying to move make them make a decision a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish and then you try and count that is a huge shot right there dc you don't want to eat too many more of those no and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to hurt very bad stop The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 29-27, and 29-27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, the future Ian Machado So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by...